On July 1st, Kayla Davis, a 21 year old woman, went to the corner store in her neighborhood and she never came home. Initial reports suggest that Davis had been stabbed, but now we're learning that she died of a gunshot wound. WTOC's Shay Schrader joins us live from the Chatham County Courthouse. Shay, even though we know she was shot, the police department has only referred to this as a death investigation. Yes, Arya, that's correct. We have not been able to get confirmation from the Chatham County Police Department that they upgraded this to a homicide investigation after getting those autopsy results. Meanwhile, Kayla Davis's family tell me that they are in agony and that they need to see somebody held responsible. Fatima Davis says that she knew in her gut that her daughter had died as soon as Chatham County Police came to her door on July 1st. Kayla had been gone for longer than normal after making a trip to the corner store. That feeling, I can't describe the feeling that I had. The hurt, the pain, the loss, the sadness. The initial police report from July 1st states that CCPD first responded to the backyard of a home on Bismarck Avenue after reports of a stabbing. Davis's mother says CCPD officers told her originally that her daughter had died after being stabbed. However, according to the Chatham County Coroner's Office, Davis died of a gunshot wound to the torso and to the cause of death. It was also ruled a homicide. The initial police report shows that CCPD officers did hear reports of a gunshot that day. The report says that a witness, quote, was woken up by a gunshot outside of the residence near the backyard. He went out to the backyard and observed the victim lying on the ground. Police also interviewed a woman who says that she, quote, observed the victim lying on the ground and foaming at the mouth. She told police that she was the only one home. Court records show that on July 6th, the woman's son, 17-year-old Javante Ward, was arrested and charged with tampering with evidence in connection to the case. He's being held at the Chatham County Detention Center after being denied bond. Davis's mother says that the tampering with evidence charge is not enough and that she wants to see someone charged with murder. You have to put your finger on the trigger for a gun to go off. If you drop a gun, it won't go off. But they're trying to spin it as it was an accident. We repeatedly reached out to the Chatham County Police Department and asked if this was being treated as a homicide investigation, if Ward was being treated as a homicide suspect, or if there were any other suspects in this case. They did decline to answer our questions, but they did send us the following statement. The Chatham County Police Department has conducted a thorough investigation into the circumstances surrounding Kayla Davis's death on July 1, 2023. All of our evidence and investigative files have been turned over to the Chatham County District Attorney's Office for review and for that office to determine the next course of action in the case. We did also reach out to the DA's office for comment. They didn't respond to us in time for this story, but we will be sure to update the story when we do hear back. Coming up on the next half hour of the News at Daybreak, Davis's family is remembering Kayla and what type of person she is and is even organizing a march in her honor. I'll have those details. Live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.